I'm Don Samulak, President of U.S. Operations of Editage Cactus Communications, and I'm here in London uh, at the Digital Science Offices of Macmillan Publishing, talking with John Hammersley, co-founder and CEO of Overleaf. For this discussion, we thought that we would take it uh, into particularly the Asian author, the use of Overleaf uh, for the Asian author. Uh, so for the Asian author that may never have heard of Overleaf, it's a collaborative writing tool uh, that's online in the cloud and uh, that allows them to create publication ready documents that are appropriately meta tagged for submission to journals and so as a collaborative writing tool it can accelerate uh, the research process mm -hmm. and so from your point of view why should an Asian author be using Overleaf? So the reason an Asian author should use Overleaf is because it, we make it really easy to set up your own templates or to use templates that others have created. So any document that's on Overleaf can be published as a template. This then makes it available for other people to use as a starting point. So what we find is that people from different communities and different countries create templates in their own languages and specific to you know um, specific to use cases that they that they want. Um, and they then make those templates available. So they can be made available through Overleaf. So you can search our template gallery and we have tags with different language tags on, on the templates with those languages already supported built in. Um, but also it's linked to from lots of sites in those countries. So rather than needing to navigate through an English language site in order to get to this template, these templates can be provided on native language sites and linked to directly from those places. So you can start with a template that's made available through you know, a blog or a publisher site or a publishing services site in your country. Um, you can then write in your language, um, in your native language using Overleaf. And then when you finish, you can get an output as a PDF, get an output all the source files that you need, but you can also then submit your paper onto lots of different services. So we make it really easy to then take your your manuscript, your output, and submit it to the different places that you need to. So, are the, for someone who's looking for where these templates are, are there user communities? Uh, can you give examples of user communities where these things can be found? So, a great example is there's a Malaysian user group, um, which has set up a lot of different templates for use at Malaysian universities. Um, those templates are all available and tagged on Overleaf. They're also available on the Malaysian User Group's website. Um, and, and again, these can be found through generally through searching for, for standard terms that you, that you would expect. You know, so you would, you would search. search for LaTeX Overleaf uh, Chinese template? Chinese template, for example. Yep. If you, um, a lot of the templates, you know, the characters will be searchable, so if you type that in in Chinese, it should... Mm -hmm. It should pick it up and take you to, to our site. Or, like I say, these are quite often posted on community groups um, that, that create and manage these, these other language templates. There's a, um, I think there's also a Persian LaTeX users group, which has a selection of templates, which you can all, again, open in Overleaf. And we've worked with a lot of community sites so that you can open those templates with one click directly from, from okay. the site. These are not necessarily Overleaf templates. These are LaTeX Templates exactly. that are able to be opened up uh, seamlessly in Overleaf, and so uh, we had talked about it's not just researcher communities, but there's a university and other student high school student communities can, that can be using Overleaf. They may not be ne they're looking for a collaborative writing tool. They may not necessarily be thinking LaTeX because they're not at that stage in their career um, for that sophistication of a publishing tool. Uh, so they would be looking for Overleaf templates, Chinese, mm -hmm. Japanese, and, and add-ons of that nature, and then they would likely come to the Overleaf site where there's a collection of templates. Do you have links to other uh, user group areas that have templates as well? Yes. So, so what we've tried to do is, by providing an open API, make it really easy for templates that exist elsewhere to be opened in Overleaf. So... One example is with a site called latextemplates.com. Um, I don't know if they have many um, international languages supported, but um, the point is that their templates are hosted on their site, but they can still be opened 
directly in Overly. So we fetch the latest version of the template from that site and open it up in the editor. So that's their templates that they've created um, and that they're, they're hosting. So we already have this with, with other, um, like I say, there are some Japanese bloggers who've created some Japanese language templates um, for Overleaf. And um, sometimes it may be worth searching for Write LaTeX as well, because some of them still yeah. reference our, our so previous name. So in clarification, in this vignette, uh, the Write LaTeX was the original name of the Overleaf company. So they, from Write LaTeX, it was transitioned to the brand of Overleaf. The, the reason people use LaTeX in general is because it does have this great language support. Um, and so there are a lot of, of, of templates that already exist. And it's worth saying that if you find one um, that exists and it's not already in our gallery, please do send it in and we can upload it very quickly. Um, and we have people who are used to working in, in different languages who can help set that up, both internally and, and with partners. If you want to get started writing a paper, first of all, have a look to see if your, your local university has a LaTeX template that you could use with Overleaf. Um, another way is to search our gallery for the appropriate language. And if it doesn't exist, please do get in touch and ask us. Um, but the other way is to search your local and your national your sites, blog sites, and, and others for, for similar templates, you know, thesis templates, um, project report templates. You're saying that the universities themselves might be publishing templates uh, for specific purposes, thesis uh, and other things that, uh, so you have journals that have templates for their journal. You have potentially universities that have templates for the thesis structure, mm -hmm. um, probably generated primarily for the mathematics, chemistry, physics community, uh, but it, it, I'm sure, is a standard template for all theses at that university. And so then the author, whether an Asian author or an author worldwide, should be looking towards their own university specifically to find out whether these templates for LaTeX exist and they can be opened up in Overleaf. Exactly. And quite often what we find is that um, where those templates exist, um, a user will often upload them to Overleaf um, so that then they're available directly in the system as well as um, on the university site. And then that means that rather than having to everyone having to download it, take it to Overleaf and upload it to install, once it's available in the Overleaf Gallery as well, you can just open it with one click without having to sort out the files yourself. That's great. So thanks, John. It's been a pleasure talking with you as always. Don Samulak, President, U.S. Operations of Editage and Cactus Communications here in the Digital Science Offices in Macmillan uh, Publishing, talking with John Hammersley, co-founder and CEO of Overleaf. Thanks. Thanks.